the legal team of Mazin Nam the Kano, leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, has appealed the ruling of the Abuja Federal High Court before the appeal court. According to Aloy Ejimako, they are not satisfied with the ruling of Justice Binta Nyako of the Abuja Federal High Court. Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by so in this news i'll be giving you guys the full details of the the recent rp fight by the legal counsel of mazen nam the Kano. but before we continue i want to beg you all to please help me by liking and sharing this video so that youtube and facebook are recommended to more people and the news here i read nam the Kano held to appeal court condemns justice binta nyako's ruling dss action legal team of mazen nam the Kano, leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob has appealed the ruling of the abuja federal high court before the appeal court Kano's legal team led by its lead counsel, Aloy Ejimako, expressed dissatisfaction with the ruling of Justice Binta Nyako of the Abuja Federal High Court on the 19th of March 2024. The team informed the court that the lower court aired when it denied Kano's constitutional right to fair trial. They pointed out that the Department of the State Services, DSS, has also failed to provide adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the the criminal allegations against the appellant and his right to cancer of his choice thereby occasioning a grave miscarriage of justice a note of appeal filed by a jimako charge number fhc abj cr 383 2015 read take note that the appellant being dissatisfied with the ruling of the federal high court abuja division koran bfm nyakoje delivered on the 19th of march 2024 dot hereby appealed to the court of api abuja upon the grant set out in paragraph three below and we be at the hearing of the appeal to seek relief as set out in paragraph four here off from the court of the appeal the learned trial court erred in law when the court assumed jurisdiction to proceed with the hearing of the criminal trial against the appellant when the appellant is glaringly denied the constitutional right to fair trial with particular reference to denial of adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegations against the appellant and his right to counsel of his own choice thereby occasioning a grave miscarriage of justice fair hearing or trial bears the constitutional safeguard of ensuring that the appellant is accorded the adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegations leveled against the appellant the denial of the appellant the opportunity to interact and brief his counsel on what line of defenses the appellant tends to agitate in the trial court and rely on what adequately brought to the attention of the trial court by motion the trial court failed and neglected to make necessary orders that would protect the appellant aforesaid site, but rather hear that the court cannot detect how the respondent carries out its work. The trial court has the powers to order the respondent, being the detaining authority to seize and disease from interfering with appellant constitutional or fair hearing right to adequate facilities to prepare defense and his right to cancer of his choice and where it is impossible to do so or where the respondent persists the trial court has the power to order an alternative custodial arrangement or non-custodial arrangement for the appellant denial of the appellant right to adequate facilities to prepare defense as enshrined in section 36 b of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria 1999 is a jurisdictional issues in the absence of which the trial court cannot assume or proceed with the jurisdiction over the case or less and until such facilities are accorded to the appellant. The legal team also accused the trial judge of erring when she heard that 
I cannot make orders directing a security agency on how to do their work. I can only direct that whatever is within the law must be allowed to the defendant. Counsel cannot direct the court or give condition to the court on how to conduct its business. The defendant is entitled to a counsel of his choice and should be given the facility to conduct an interview with his counsel within the confines of the law. Can by a notice of preliminary objection pray the court to find and hold that the trial in the case cannot proceed except the respondent stopped the unconstitutional act of forcefully seizing and photocopying confidential legal document brought to the appellant by the appellant lawyers meant for the appellant defense of the charges against the appellant. Stop if dropping on the appellant confidential consultation or conversations with the appellant counsel, which discussion is aimed at preparing the appellant for his defense. The respondent denied the counsel to the appellant the right to take notes, denied them the right to transmit messages and information to the appellant, secretly took pictures of the counsel and the appellant interviews and recorded briefings between the appellant, between the appellant lawyer and the appellant. They scanned the document meant for the appellant from the appellant team of lawyers and even refused to allow lawyers to the appellant deliver letter to the appellant. The action of the respondent in the instant case is a flagrant violation of the appellant right to counsel of his own, of his own choice as stipulated in section 36 C of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. Also, Kano's team accused Justice Bintanyako of erring in law when she ordered for the accelerated year of the case, given the fact of the case showing that the respondent had consistently refused to afford the appellant the right to adequate facility to prepare for the defense of the charges leveled against him, the appellant and his right to counsel, and thereby occasioning the miscarriage of justice against the appellant in favor of the respondent. They insisted that the judge can not order accelerated hearing of a criminal charge where it's brought to the attention of the court that the appellant is denied the adequate facilities to prepare his defense and his right to counsel. The order for accelerated hearing of the case in face of the constitutional breaches of fair hearing or trial right of the appellant is a credence to the respondent to proceed on the unconstitutional denial of the appellant his right to adequate facilities to prepare for his defense and his right to counsel of his choice they added all right my people and uh, that is it for you all in all of these many long reading and talks these people has proceeded to the uh, appeal court to appeal the the, the judgment of justice Bintanyako on the 19th of march the truth of the matter is that me self i don't tire for this country no rule of law court order Others are not being obeyed. Presidency is the one controlling everything, be it the lower court, the, uh, the, the federal high court, even the appeal court. Self. But we hope that this time around, something good will come out of it. And that is it for you all, my people. I'm going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video.